Hey, how are you all YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize hell is us on your PC, increase FPS and fix all kind of stutter, input latency and black screen issues. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is compatibility settings and we do this to optimize black screen issues. For that, you have to simply open up Steam on your PC, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're over here, you'll find HLSS folder, double click on that, head over to binaries, win64 and then you'll find HLSS win64shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Select disable full screen optimization and then click on change high DPI setting, select this option, click on OK and apply and this will help you to fix your black screen issues as well as input latency. Once that is done, simply close it. You also have to copy this file location because you're gonna be needing it in the next step. Next step is best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here, come over to personalization and then click on colors. Over here, you have to disable transparency effects. You guys can see the difference if you turn this thing on and off. You guys can see that the translucency is turned off. This will help you to save a little bit of your performance and increase your windows smoothness then head over to gaming head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off game bar is an overlay service which consumes your cpu resources disabling that will help you to fix it that once that is done go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on this will help you to optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background click on the graphics button underneath that and then enable optimizations for windowed games to reduce input latency and use advanced features in compatible games then click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling since this will help you to utilize a dedicated graphics card over your cpu based graphics then click on add desktop app button over here and then paste this file location that we have copied from the last step head over to hell is us binaries win64 and then select the hell is us win64 shipping.exe click on the add button and once that is added scroll down to find that game once you find it, select it and for the GPU preference, select high performance and then enable optimizations for windowed games over here as well. And once that is done, simply close it. Next step is disabling background applications and this step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Simply search for edit group policy on your PC and open it up. Over here, double click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, windows components and then app privacy. Over here, you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and then you'll find enable and disabled. You're gonna have to set this policy to enable and default for all applications should be set to force deny. Once that is done, simply close it and this will disallow all of the applications running in the background and this will help you to save your system's performance. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and simply open it up. Under system properties, you'll find system protection. Select local disk C, click on the create button and name it hell is us just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Now you have to go and download hell is us FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys will find in six simple folders over here which will help you to optimize the performance of your pc the first one is cpu priority which helps you to set up the correct d word value for your processor if you guys have an amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority and if you guys have an intel cpu you can double click and apply the intel cpu priority then you have ram optimization which is the same thing but for your ram over here, I have left a ton of presets according to your PC's RAM. I use 32GB, so I need to apply this one for myself. And once again, if anything goes wrong and you want to restore them back, use the reset to default registry over here. Third one is Hell is Us priority in which I have left these three priorities and I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here for maximum performance. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless on your PC and disabling them will help you to boost your performance. Again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, skip them. And if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and turn them back on. Fifth folder is power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan which is absolutely useful if you guys are playing AAA titles. Right click on that and run it as administrator and this will run a powershell command on your PC to add a new power plan into the list. To access that double click on power plans and then you have to select show additional plan settings and you will find ultimate performance plan somewhere in this list. I have already selected that and this will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware to optimize your PC's performance. 
सिक्स फोल्डर इज द प्रोग्राम्स फोल्डर इन विच आई क्लीन टेम्प्रेरी फाइल्स यू वैन टू राइट क्लिक इन रन दिस एस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एट ओवर हेयर यू टू प्रेस एंटर एंड दिस विल डिलीट ऑल टेम्प्रेरी फाइल्स ऑफ ऑफ योर पी सी एंड इट इज एब्सोलूटली यूजफुल टू डू दैट एंड डोंट वरी दिस वोट डिलीट एनी ऑफ द नेसेसरी फाइल्स इज आर जस्ट ट्रैश फाइल्स विच यू डू नॉट यूज ऑन योर पी सी वन सर इज डन प्रेस एंटर एंड देन यू हैव एम एस आई मोड यूटिलिटी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो सिम्पली राइट क्लिक इन रन दिस एस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर वन दिस सॉफ्टवेयर ओपन अप यू हैव टू लुक फॉर योर ग्राफिक कार्ड इन दिस लिस्ट एंड सिलेक्ट एम एस आई बटन नेक्स्ट वे दर इंटर प्रायोरिटी सिलेक्ट हाई एंड क्लिक ऑन दी अपलाई बटन This will allow your graphic card to handle more than normal interrupts without overclocking it. This will also improve the performance of your GPU. Once all of that is done, simply close the FPS pack. Next step is disk cleanup and it is a very useful step. Simply search for disk cleanup over here and press enter. Then you have to select local disk C and click on okay. This will open up disk cleanup in front of you. What you have to do is click on DirectX shader cache and delivery optimization files over here. Once that is done, you can also clean your recycle bin if you want and temporary files. Make sure that all of that is selected and the most important one over here is DirectX shader cache as this will help you to clean the shader dump files which are used to re-render the game. Once you clean that, you open up your game, it will re-render and recompile all of the shaders and that would be more optimized ones. Once that is done, click on the okay button and click on delete files now this might take a while so let it run in the background next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here click on custom and enable save tasks or thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these four settings will help you to keep the basic and minimal look of your windows intact while disabling all of the unwanted other animations of your pc which will help you to optimize the performance as well next step is right under that that is advanced in which you have to set the processor scheduling to programs and then click on change button over here deselect automatically manage paging file size and then select local disk c for the custom size initial size should be set to 1361 as it is a little bit over 1 gb and then for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator and then you and i have to multiply your system's ram with 1024 this gives you your memory in megabytes I have 32 GB RAM, so I have multiplied 32 GB with 1024. Now you have to divide this new value by two, and the value that you get over here is to be pasted in the maximum size. This is how you set your virtual memory because it will be utilized when your RAM is completely used and your game demands for more. Once that is done, click on OK and simply close it. Next step is the best in game settings, and for that you need to open up your game. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Then you have to go down to video settings, and then you have to make sure that your screen mode is set to borderless. Then for the graphics quality. go with the custom quality over here anti aliasing should be set to medium effects foliage global illumination post processing reflection and shading all should be set to low shadow should also be set to low textures you can go with medium or high view distance can be set to low but you guys can also increase that but this will re reduce your performance then vsync should be turned off and video reflex low latency if that is available for you go with on plus boost then you have to scroll down and you'll find up scalers where you'll find dlss if your gpu supports dlss put it on performance or bad Balance, both of them works absolutely fine. If you guys can see frame generation over here, my GPU does not support it. But if you guys can see it, turn it on because it's gonna give you phenomenal FPS boost. Similarly, for Intel users, you can use the ZES, and for AMD users, you can use the Fidelity Super Resolution along with the frame generation. Once that is done, press the Escape key, and now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers, and I trust you all. Hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you all in another music video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.